Hello and welcome back. This is episode 41 of the First Person Shooter tutorial series. Um, in this episode, I'm just going to be doing a few quick touch ups. So, I think when the gun fires, uh, the bullets are still too slow. So, go ahead and open up the First Person Controller, Camera, Gun Placeholder, Sci Fi Rifle. And then within the inspector, we can increase bullet force. I'm going to go up to 2500. And. I want the bullets to start using gravity. I think that they're a little bit too um, unrealistic when they sort of start floating around. And I'm going to bring down the size on those. Whoops. Undo. Uh, dr drop that in the scene. F to zoom in. And I'm just going to do the uniform scale by clicking on the white square. Like that and then apply and delete. Now I'm going to go back into play mode. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. Oh. And I think the hit reticle is a little bit too small. So, sci-fi or actually I think that was in FPS controller. Yeah, that's right. So change from 9.2 to 9.3 again. And let's make that like 0 0.7. 0 0.07. Yeah, I like that much better. And we should also play a sound when we hit the enemy. So I'm just going to record a quick sound. Open up Audacity. And effect. It's kind of hissy. Uh, I think we can fix that. EQ. I want to drop off the high range. Yeah, I like that better. Uh, sorry if you can't hear that. But it, it, it sounds pretty decent. And actually, I, I think I dropped off too much of the high range. So I'm going to go back into EQ and bring that up like that, and then create another dot and bring it down like that. One more try. EQ, something like that. Yeah, I like that. And now I just want to amplify it. Not that much though. Amplify. Yeah, that'll work. Export audio. Just drop it on the desktop. Um, bullet hit. And actually, I want to make sure it's right at the very beginning. And I'm going to shorten it. Change, uh, change speed, change the pitch too much, so I'll do change tempo. And make it fade out. Alright. Export audio, desktop, hit. And now imported. Uh, let's just create a new folder for audio. Drag that in. And within, I think that was in the sci fi rifle. And 
No. Probably menu controller. All right, so we're, we're signaling um, reticle controller every time the enemy gets hit. So that that would be the most logical place to play an audio an audio clip. So public audio clip hit sound. And you know it. I guess it would make sense to play different hit sounds depending on the different weapons we're using. Uh, but I'm just going to keep it dead simple and just use one hit sound for everything. And now we're going to need a reference to the audio source to play audio. So we can uh, create a reference to that public audio source audio. And now. Um, we we could we could use get component in the start function, or we can just drag the character onto itself, like this. So we're trying to fill this audio source field. We can just set that right there, and now that'll grab the audio source component of the FPS controller. Uh, we also need our hit sound, which is now in the audio folder. Drop that on there, and I'm just gonna automatically apply this to the prefab. And when when we get when the when we hit an enemy, we want to play uh, I don't know why that would be crossed out. Um I think I need to change the name of that variable. Audio source dot play. And what did I call the auto uh, hit sound? Like that. And it's not happy with that. So let's go back to the function we were using before. Play one shot. This is what I use for most um, audio clips. And hit sound. All right. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh no. Um that's a problem. Let's fix that first. So when I fired the bullet, they sort of arced down and hit the ground. That's because we're using gravity now. I didn't even consider that. So make sure that Use gravity is not checked in the bullet widget body. One more time. Wave one. And something broke. The variable audio source of vertical controller has not been assigned. I thought I assigned it. FPS controller. Vertical controller. Okay, well, I don't know why that broke, so. Oh, it's because I, I renamed the variable. So it lost the connection. Anyway, um, make sure that FPS controller is within that field. Play one more time. Sorry about that, guys. Wave one. Ooh, I like it. This sort of a mushy hissing sound when we hit the enemies. It's much more satisfying now. Alright, so I'm going to cut this video off here. In the next video, we're going to work on player health.